Let's take a look at the uh, app launcher. It's down here. It pops up calendar, energy, web, camera, charging, and call. So this is your calendar. Uh, it, it syncs with your phone. I think there's a control setting uh, somewhere to enable uh, the synchronization of the calendar. I wonder what this... Calendar not updating. Interesting. Look at that. Keep the mobile app running. So sort of like a help show calendar upon entry in the morning never that's nice so it looks like uh, in the morning it'll show my calendar when I get in the car um, energy uh, attracts your energy this is the uh, model SX energy instant energy and if you have a trip set up in your computer uh, through navigation, you'd get uh, trip information. So if I go to work and then go back into energy, uh, it'll predict what your uh, ending energy will be uh, for the trip. Uh, web, finally a web browser for Model 3 owners. And uh, <laughs> I was at my uh, website, my YouTube channel, uh, last night, and so let's go to the home page of my uh, YouTube channel, and uh, you can add favorites, so let's add that as a favorite, next Tesla Life, add to favorites, and then let's, um, let's go to Tesla. As another favorite, could have dot, dot com, but well, it'll do the good. Looks like it's set up for Google search. Um, it's pretty fast. Set that as a favorite, and then uh, I guess favorites now should list your uh, favorite websites. Uh, let's put in weather. That would be nice to have. Dot com. I like weather.com. Add that as a favorite. Probably don't. Yep. So you don't need to put in. Um, let's see if it has cookies. So if I put in my 18966. It's a little non-responsive there for a second. Enter. Okay, good. And let's save that. And then let's try switching back and forth. Tesla. And then weather. Good. Nice. Doubt this would play, but let's be a good little test. There it is. Actually, yeah, well. So let's see if it actually can play the radar. It's not super responsive. I should be on Wi Fi. I think I am on Wi Fi. Yep, I'm on my home Wi Fi. Yeah, so it may not do animation. That might have been the one jump that I made. Oh no, look at that, it is. You just have to wait a while, I guess. So, got uh, <laughs> radar working, or weather radar. Very nice. Yeah, it's just not super responsive. Let's see if I can get to Gmail. Yeah, cool. So this is interesting. I've gone to my uh, Gmail account and it's saying that it's uh, using the old HTML version uh, because this browser doesn't support, uh, I guess, more advanced, uh, maybe HTML5 features. I wonder if there's a workaround for that. We can uh, navigate to places. Let's see. Yep. 
So it uh, sort of works. It's not ideal and it's pretty small, but you can zoom in clearly to see stuff. More readable. So let's see what's next. Uh, the camera. It's your rear camera. It can pop up. Yeah, someone uh, showed uh, in the uh, SNX that you can actually have your music player on, and let's say if I go to camera, you can slide these two up, up and down a little bit more, uh, but it doesn't look like it, work, it works in the Model 3. So if you have your music player, and if I have it to the next setting, uh, we'll talk about the music player in a second, and then you bring up uh, like the web browser, it takes over. But if you have your uh, music player um, in the minimal setting, then uh, the different apps, uh, the web browser always takes over. But I did notice that, that the, um, if I have my music low and I go to camera, it uh, fits it in, leaving the music player there. Now let's try the music player in that setting and go to camera. Uh, well, it leaves it behind, which is interesting. Uh, by the way, I think if you just swipe up, you get the last app. Uh, I wonder if I can still... No, as soon as you touch. So it's just showing uh, the music player behind, behind you uh, when you go to different apps. So that was camera. Charging uh, is pretty normal. It used to be a bolt up across the top, I believe. Now it's under app, so they move that. Lastly, your phone app icon for the phone there pops up your phone app, uh, which used to be its own icon, but now you have to hit that. Now, once you've selected an app, let's say web browser, and then uh, you go to do something else and you're navigating around, what you can do is instead of double clicking, you can just uh, swipe up to bring up the last app that you had on. I'm wondering if you can double tap. No, it's not a double tap, so it's just a swipe up to, to reselect the last app that you had selected. So if I happen to select charging and then I do something, I can swipe up to uh, go back to charging the last app that I have. I was in Nashville this week and I saw the Stacey Mitchart band at the Bourbon Street Blues and Boogie Bar. Definitely check it out if you ever get down to Nashville. Thanks for watching. If you want to see some of my other Model 3 videos, they're here in the top right. And I just created a new channel, Nick's Pickleball Life, for my pickleball adventures. Check it out. If you're interested in purchasing a Tesla, you can use my referral code and get unlimited free supercharging. Uh, and please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.